Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Allison and I make cleaning and lifestyle videos every week. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any new videos. Today I need a product review. I'm going to be reviewing this finished Maxin One Power Ball. It is a dishwasher cleaner. It's a little, I don't know, bowl or packet that you put in your dishwasher and it's supposed to help clean your dishes. Um, it says no pre-soak, even on baked pasta, which is a pretty big claim. Um, it does recommend you use it with their other brand cleaners, which I think every cleaner says that just because they want you to buy the product. But it does suggest you use their other products with this. It does have a few warnings on the back. It says it contains sodium carbonate, sodium percarbonate, and enzymes. So if you're concerned with that, you might want to keep that in mind. Um, it does have warnings not to ingest this product, which I think is kind of obvious, but if you have children, you might want to keep this up where they cannot get to it. It does say handle with dry hands only, so if your hands are wet, you don't want to touch it. It also says not to unwrap the tablet, you just put it in the dishwasher and run it. So I've never used this product before. I'm going to run it through my dishwasher and then look at the dishes and see if it's a little bit better than what I use normally. I tend to change what I use. I sometimes will buy like off brands or I will buy Cascade brand. And I usually buy the little packet kind, and they do a pretty good job, so I want to see if this is any better. I will put the price of this product over here, so you have an idea of how much this costs. And it says that there are 24 wrapper-free tabs in this container, so it's 15 ounces of 24 tablets, so you're going to get 24 washes, which really isn't very much if you think about it. I run my dishwasher almost every day, so it's really a little less than a month's supply. I usually buy these things kind of in a big bulk container just because I go through them so quickly. But every household is different and you might only want, want to run your dishwasher every three days or so. Just depending on how many dishes you use. So let's go ahead and open it and I just want to look at the packet. And because there's some warning labels on it, I am going to put gloves on to handle the product. And they have a pretty strong smell when I opened it. I did get kind of a big whiff from opening it. So you want to keep that in mind too, that if you're sensitive to strong scents, this might not be the product for you. And this is what they look like. They have a little ball. There's a blue layer and a white layer on them. And it's mostly the white layer. I really don't know if there's a difference between the blue and red and white layer, or if this is just something kind of decorative to make it look like you're getting more for your money. But that is what it looks like. I'll try to get it to focus a little better. And it's a pretty decent size. It's about the same size as my little container to put these things in. So I'm going to go ahead and put this and run it through a normal cycle with my dishes. It does say do not unwrap it, so you leave it in the wrapper. And I'm going to go ahead and start my dishwasher and you can come along and see how it does with me. And my dishwasher is full of dirty dishes, so Hopefully it does a good job of getting them clean, and if not, I will tell you. So I did just notice when I was about to put it in, I was trying to figure out if it goes a, a certain way. It doesn't tell you, really. Um, and there's a picture where it has the little ball going upwards, so I'm thinking it goes in that way. But there are a couple warnings. It, this is supposed to be safe for septic systems. Um, it also says make sure your dishwasher safe dishes, which is obvious. But it says to separate silver from stainless steel in your dishwasher. I don't know if there's some sort of effect that it has on those products. Um, and it does say, there's a little warning that if it doesn't fit in your dishwasher to consult the manufacturer. So this may be too large for some dishwashers. If you have an older model, it might not fit because it is a pretty large tablet. So just a couple little side notes. And there seems to be plenty of room in mine. It fits pretty well. There's a lot of room still to move. I'm not using any dish aid with mine just because I want to see how this works on its own. So I'm going to just use it on the normal setting. Yeah, and there we go. That's what they look like in the packet. If you're curious, I'm just going to re-zip it because it is pretty strong. Yeah. And so I will be back in an hour or two to show you how it is. Okay, so it's about two hours later and the dishwasher has run. So I'm going to open it and see how it looks and give you my opinion.
So now that I've looked through the dishes a little bit, um, I did notice a couple of dishes still have a little bit of stuff stuck on them. One of the dishes it was kind of stuck on before. So it's not completely against this cleaner, but it didn't completely kill everything that was stuck on. I will say that these dishes look really shiny and clean and nice. I'm pretty impressed with how these look. However, there were still a couple of ones that had some stuff stuck on. I think it probably worked about the same as my Walmart brand cleaner or um, Cascade brand. I think it's pretty equivalent. I don't think one was better than the other one. So I'm going to probably just give this like a 3 out of 5 stars. It did get most of the dishes clean. And I think that you'd probably be happy with it if you bought it, but I wouldn't expect it to just get everything stuck off. Um, I do think you'd probably need to use a dishwasher booster with it to get all the really stuck on stuff. So I hope my review was helpful for you. Thank you so much for coming by, and I hope you all have a beautiful day today.